The camera theft crime wave continues in San Francisco, sadly, where thieves know that they can grab our stuff and get away with it rather easily. Which begs the question, is there a way that we can still photograph our beloved San Francisco safely without being robbed? Well, believe it or not, the answer is yes, and I say this as a victim of camera theft whose gear was stolen while I was addressing the camera on a camera shoot in Chrissy Field, which is just at the foot of the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. But I've also outsmarted the thieves by running around the city all year long, taking lots of photos and videos with an iPhone. They don't really care about smartphones as much as they do the big expensive cameras which cost thousands and thousands of dollars. A smartphone can be turned off remotely and is not really worth that much if you can't turn it on. Now I've talked here about where not to go with a big camera and the big three are Twin Peaks, a beautiful city overlook with little police presence, the Palace of Fine Arts where two wedding photographers were recently attacked, and Chrissy Field, that is, if you're too close to the road, which I was, because the thieves can pull right up, steal your stuff, and make a fast getaway. So where can you go safely? I'd say pretty much anywhere where there's lots of people, lots of stores, and the traffic is tight, making a fast getaway kind of tough. My top picks include Chinatown, North Beach, the Little Italy section of the city, the Financial District, and the beautiful 100-year-old ferry building, which opens to amazing piers that have beautiful views of the bay and the bay bridge. And you can't beat Dob Hill and the cable cars. Both Fisherman's Wharf and Alamo Square are havens for smash and grabs. That is, uh, they see the rented car, they smash the window, they pull your bags out, and they dash away pretty quickly. Now, I have photographed in both of those places with no problem, again, with my iPhone, and I'll go there again, but I'll go there on foot or via Uber. Bottom line, San Francisco needs to take these camera thefts seriously, which they really haven't done, and do something about it. Meanwhile, I'm going to live San Francisco for the rest of my life. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and I will continue photographing there just a little bit more carefully. I'm Jefferson Graham. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Look for me on Twitter where I'm at Jefferson Graham. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the PhotoWalks TV channel right here on YouTube, as well as the PhotoWalks TV newsletter, jeffersongram.substack.com, which is photo meets tech meets travel. I'll see you guys on the next PhotoWalk. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.